This conference will now be recorded. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, sorry for all my colleagues about the, this delay. It was uh, some technical error, but alhamdulillah we can manage to correct and solve this problem. Uh, today we will start our uh, soft fertility and sexual health module. Uh, two important modules of our curriculum, and we have many patients and many tasks that you may face in the exam regarding this two modules. Uh, I hope that you are doing well in these uh, difficult days, and uh, you should do your best and not waste your time. Focus uh, on one group or one to two group, and do not waste your time by a lot of group and a lot of material. Uh, part, part three examination is easy, but want from you to practice, practice more and more. Uh, not important is the more material and uh, more cases, but the most important thing to practice. Uh, so we'll try today to practice uh, more cases as we can according to our time, inshallah. Regarding subfertility and sexual health module, we can you can face many uh, many examples and many tasks regarding this. Uh, can you please mute yourself? Okay. Uh, for example or some of the cases that you may face in some fertility and sexual uh, health module, uh, a female patient who came for, with fertility problem, like patient who have a BCO syndrome, and this can come as a, a simulated patient task or a structured discussion. Also patient who is Turner syndrome, this also, also can came as a patient a simulated, uh, simulated patient task or structured discussion. Patient who is a sexual intercourse problem, like patient who have vaginismus, whether it was a primary or secondary one. Um, also, uh, you can face a, a strange station uh, that we are not used to face in our uh, community, like uh, same sex and the single parenthood. And in this uh, scenario, uh, the examiner will uh, will focus on your facial expression and your reaction regarding this patient. When you face a female patient who tell you that I have uh, my partner named Sarah or I have another female partner, so the examiner at this situation will look at your face to, to see how you react and how you will accept this. Um, and also the patient who came to uh, want to have a baby as a single mother. One of the uh, difficult and the strange scenarios that you may face in the exam. Regarding also these uh, modules, uh, you may uh, uh, face a male male patient uh, who have a male, fa male factor for infertility and come to the, explain for him the semen analysis and explain for him what uh, will be his option. Um, many patients, also patient with herb assemblies in pregnancy or herb assemblies and not, uh, not pregnant, patient with bacterial vaginosis, a patient who delivered and her baby has uh, ophthalmia natura. Mm, one of the most important case, emergent contraception. Adult woman came asking for emergency contraception and how you choose the suitable one for her. Uh, and a modification of this scenario may face also teenager. Teenager who came asking for emergent contraception and the examiner will assist you how uh, how you will uh, react with this teenager, how, how you accept her choice, uh, and how you uh, assist her regarding phrasal guideline to uh, be sure that she is a uh, like content. Uh, it is one of the most uh, important also scenarios. Uh, teenager requesting abortion can may also uh, be uh, uh, regarded this uh, module, suffrage and sexual health. A lot of cases, a lot of cases, not in my mind now, but uh, eh, eh, like that. Uh, so let's start our case, uh, first case today. Uh, who want to join or, or who want to share the first case? Can I do? Can I? Me, uh, sir. I want to join. Okay, uh, please, the, the one uh, share in the last uh, session, uh, give the opportunity to your colleague. So. We will start by new one. One not shared in the previous session. I not. I haven't shared before, sir. Can I? 
Yes, doctora Soja. Yeah. Doctora Soja. Yeah. Okay. Can I be the next one, sir? Because I never shared it before. Okay, Dr. Ansar, you will be the next one. No problem. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay, Dr. Asoha, before we start the first session, I, I, I wanted to give you an example of the template that that you uh, you may use this template during your um, studying of subfertility uh, and sexual health. Also, you can make, make your own template, uh, but it is necessary to uh, focus on one template and repeat it uh, again and again because the repetition will uh, fix the information in your mind. So, um, what would be the template of the subfertility and the sexual health? Uh, as usual, as we used it to do, we will uh, greet and introduce yourself to the patient and confirm the identity. Uh, hello, I am Dr. Ali, one of the senior doctors in the clinic today. May I confirm your name and age, please? She will say, for example, Sarah. Uh, hello, Sarah. Sarah, I understand if you know that you are here today because you are keen to have a baby. Most of the patient will came asking it, uh, uh, for fertility problems, so they are keen to have a baby. So I understand that you are here today because you are keen to have a baby. Sometimes it may come uh, uh, to explain for her the result. Uh, for example, semen analysis for uh, the, the male partner or uh, ultrasound for the female, like this. You can say, I understand that you are here today to discuss the result of the test. this test. Am I right? She will say or he will say yes. If the purpose of the meeting is not clear for you, you can say, how can I be of help today? So if the purpose of the meeting is clear, you can justify or you can focus on this uh, purpose. If the, focus, if the purpose of the meeting is not clear, so you can ask or you can say, how can be of help today? Then you put your agenda, as we used to do. Okay, Sarah, before we discuss the best management plan for you, I want to ask you some questions to know more about you and your partner. And may examine you in the presence of chaperone if you don't mind. At the end, I will write back to your GP and give you contact number, and I will give you patient information leaflet to read. Okay, this, to put the agenda, to see the examiner or to show the examiner how how you will uh, go during the, uh, the session and how are systematic how you are systematic and if you forget or the time not allow you at the end to mention the contact number or writing back to the gp or the patient information leaflet so you are already mentioned that okay so by putting the agenda you are safe if the time not allow you to mention any of these points any other expectation on concern she will say no. Okay. Then you will go to the history. As we used before, we bought a template for the history. Okay, first in the history, you will do analysis of the, com of the complaint or history of present illness. This is the analysis of the complaint. Okay, Sarah, could you tell me for how long have you been trying to have a baby? She will say, it, for example, for two years, for one year, for three years. Okay, and have you offered any treatment for that? She will say, no, it's the first time for me. Or yes, doctor, I did before I, I, one IVF cycle. I, I, I used it to take a drug to induce my ovulation like that. Okay, these are two important questions. For how long have you been trying to have a baby? Have you offered any treatment for that? Then you will go to the sexual history. Here is different from the other template we did for the for uh, the before sessions. Here you would add the sexual history. And before the sexual history, you can sign both for yourself. I'm sorry if you find my question intruding. Are you are, are you with the, with someone right now? She will say yes, or she will say no. And this is an important question. Why this important question? 
because from this question you know whether the patient with male partner with the female partner or she she doesn't has any partner at all and she wanted this baby as a single mother okay so it is important to ask in the start or in the beginning not to fill in the trap you may go through the history and ask for example uh, uh, how many times do you have sexual intercourse per, per week and the uh, rule player said doctor i i don't have a, a male partner i have a female partner so you fill he here in the trap so ask from the start are you somewhere right now she will say yes with jan with tom or she will say yes with sarah like that or she will say no if she said yes for how long for how long to um, give you an idea about sexual transmitted infection if the patient has two more frequent partners so this patient at risk of sexual transmitted infection if the patient with a single partner for a long time, so she is a low risk for sexual transmitted infection. So for how long? It will be considered a patient safety to these two questions. Okay, after that, any difficulty in sexual intercourse? Now you are safe because she tell you that she has a male partner like Tom. So if you ask this question, you are safe. Any difficulty in, during sexual intercourse? She will say no, doctor. Okay, how often do you have sexual intercourse every week? This is regarding to the sexual history. Very important history in the soft fertility and sexual health problem. And to sign both to yourself. Sorry if you if you find my question intruding. Are you somewhere right now? For how long? Any difficulty in sexual intercourse? How often do you have sexual intercourse every week? Then ask about the partner. Here is a new item in the history template. Partner. Okay, Sarah, can I ask you some question about your partner? And you take full history as as all all the question you ask for the patient, you ask for her partner. How old is he? Have he fathered any children before? Did he do any semen analysis before? At what was the result? Is he following the RGB for any medical problem? Any surgery before? Any drug? Does he smoke, drink alcohol, use injection drug? What does he do for a living? Any concern about his weight? Because body mass index also may can affect fertility. Then coming to the patient history, as we used to do, obstetric history, gynecological history, medical history, surgical history, drug history, smoking, social history, family history. In the obstetric history, you will ask, have you ever been pregnant before? She will say no. Okay, you will go to the gynecological history. If she said yes, yes, doctor, so you may ask here, was it spontaneous or assisted? Then ask, it is from the same partner or no? Okay, this is a three question in the obstetric history. In the gynecological history, as we used to ask about cervical smear, if this is relevant, if the patient is 25 years old or more, ask about the period. Could you tell me more about your period? When was the last one? Last menstrual period? Ask about any contraception. Ask about any medical history and surgical history, drug history, and whether she start to use folic acid before pregnancy by three months or no, whether she has any allergy, smoking, alcohol, socialist history, what do you do for living, any family history. Then at the end, do you want to add anything? Thank you for sharing this information with me today. Then come to the examination. I want to examine you the presence of chaperone if you don't mind, as we used to do. Take consent from the patient and don't forget the chaperone. Examination, you have to take consent, verbal consent, and in the presence of chaperone. Excuse me, can you mute yourself? Okay, uh, examination, it will be the vital sign, the abdominal examination and local examination. There is one of our colleagues going to mute himself. Okay, uh, Sarah. I will exam I need to examine your pulse blood pressure temperature, take the relation between your weight and your height to be sure that you are in the best possible shape. 
examine your tummy for any pain or any masses, any vaginal discharge, if it's relevant. Then I wanted to run some tests for you. This is the, the investigation or the tests you will offer for the patient coming for fertility problem. Ultrasound for the uterus and ovary. Blood test to check her hormones to give an idea about how regularly your ovary produces the egg. FSH, LH, and the progesterone to see whether the, the patient is ovulating or no. Test to check your tube, your tubal potency or potency of your tube. The tube is the portal of the semen and the egg. This is the lay language for the tubes, the portal of the semen and the egg. Sometimes it may be reasonable to say histoabingogram, or sometimes it will be a laparoscope and histoabingogram. Semen analysis for your husband and blood test to check your immunity against a certain virus like rubella, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, to make sure that you are in ideal shape before pregnancy. So this is the investigation or the tests you will offer the patient, the patient coming asking for fertility problem. Ultrasound for the uterus and ovary, blood test for the hormone to check ovulation, test for tubal potency like history of semen analysis for her partner, and the blood test for infection. Here in, the, in this point, the examiner may give you notes. Okay, doctor, this is a note of her examination. This is a note of the investigation. So you have into, to interpret this examination and this result to reach to the, to reach to the diagnosis and to finalize your management plan or agree plan. So we recommend from your history and the examination and the investigation, you have like that and we recommend to do like that. And don't forget to involve your consultant in every case. Okay, Dr. Asoha. You are still here? Yes, hello. <laughs> yes, Dr. Asoha. Yeah. Yes, mm. I will adjust the two minutes for you for this scenario. Okay. okay. Two minutes started. Okay. Hello? Yes, give me 
second to adjust the 10 minutes okay. for you. Okay. Okay, start Dr. Asa, please. Hello, I'm Dr. Soha Nasser, one of the doctor in uh, infertility clinic today. May I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, uh, my name is John Adam, and I am 45 year old. Hello, uh, how would you like for me to Hello. call you? Call me John. Okay, John, I understand that uh, you and your wife, you are following with our consultant in infertility clinic, and you are trying to have a baby for two years. And the consultant requests a um, blood test for both of you, and you came today to discuss the result. Am I right? Yes, doctor, yes. Do you have any concern you want to add? No, doctor, just, just I know, uh, I know already m my, my result of the semen analysis. Uh, and I am very upset. I, I, I don't know why. Why I, I don't have a sperm in my semen? Uh, and any, any any treatment for that, doctor? Okay. Uh, sorry for 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 that. Uh, and I think you are running uh, on a stressful uh, uh, time now, John. I will address all your concern, and I will discuss with you the causes of azospermia and what is the option available for you. So first of all, I need to, uh, to take notes from you to know more about you. Is that okay with you? Uh, okay, okay, Dr. Asa. Okay, so uh, can you tell me, John, uh, sorry to ask you these questions. Do you have any problem with the sexual intercourse? Really, uh, yes. In the last uh, six months, I have problem uh, in erection. I don't know why. Also, uh, and this make uh, my wife upset, and I am disappointed from this. Uh, I don't know uh, what happened for me. I was, I was never like that. Okay. And uh, any problem with ejaculation? No, no. Okay. Uh, any problem with your water work? No at all. Okay. And um, do you have any history of sexual sharing disease from before, you or your partner? No. Uh, are you f uh, having any uh, fatigability or... Um, are you no. feeling... Uh, okay. And are you generally fit and well? Yes, I don't have any problem. Uh, otherwise, I, I, I told you I have this problem with uh, addiction. Okay. Have you did any surgery in your tummy or down below in your groin area? No. Okay. Uh, do you father any baby from before? No. Okay. Uh, uh, John, did you any did semen analysis before? No, the first time for me. Okay. Um, any family history of concern? No. Uh, any history of medication you took before? No. Uh, do you try any uh, anabolic steroid? No. Uh, uh, any history to expose to uh, uh, radiotherapy or chemotherapy in the past? No, at all. Uh, uh, do you know your BMI, which is the relation between your height and weight? Yes, uh, uh, now it is uh, 32. I don't know also why. Uh, I used to go to my work and come back walking and do some exercise. But I noticed in the last uh, few months that my weight increased. It increased about 15 kilograms in these six months. I don't know why. Okay, we'll try to tell you about this, uh, John. Uh, what do you do for a living, John? I'm a teacher. And do you smoke? No. Take alcohol? No. Any recreational drug? No, no at all. Uh, uh, do you want to add any notes in this uh, history, John? No. Uh, thank you for sharing your information, John. 
uh, coming to your uh, uh, result. Uh, so, um, as you know that, you see in uh, analysis, you, uh, the result showing that you don't have any sperm in the semen analysis. So, mm. what, what could be the cause of this? Uh, you know that the semen is secreted uh, from the testes, and let me to draw for you, uh, this is a both testes, and this is um, a tube that uh, transmits the semen to the penis, uh, sometimes you ha um, uh, the man can have a problem that the testes, the semen cannot produce, uh, the sperm cannot uh, produce it from the testes, or we have a block in the tube that uh, transmitting the semen, or sometimes uh, this sperm can go to other way. It can go to urine sometimes. Am I clear so far to you? Yes, doctor, they are clear. Okay, and uh, as a result of the investigation shows that you have high level of uh, that hormone called LH and FSH, it means that you test this, it is not working to, to, to do this sperm. Mm. Because mm. Uh, from the center of the brain, it, it, the stimulation is coming, but the, there is no response from the testes. Mm. And we, we know also they, they are doing for you karyotyping because sometimes uh, if the, the test is not functioning well, it will be like a, a genetic problem like a clean filter or cystic fibrosis. But uh, the result, it came that you don't have any problem like this. The karyotyping is for the six X uh, Y. But uh, the result showing that the test of uh, uh, showing that the test of hemoglobin A1C, which show that the blood sugar in your uh, body for the three months, it is high. And according to your history that you are telling, you have a problem with uh, erection. Maybe you have uh, what we call a diabetes. Am I clear so far to you? Yes, doctor. Can you give me any drug for, for this erection? Because it it's very disappointing for me and my, my wife. Okay, I will come to tell you. Uh, but uh, first of all, uh, um, our uh, management uh, on your case, we need to, it will be like in a group of a specialized doctor. I need to send you to uh, a diabetic doctor, which is a, a doctor concerning of the and, uh, endocrinology and, or, and uh, a gland doctor to control the diabetes after controlling we can discuss with him these issues of uh, erection. And second of thing, I need to send you to the uh, andrology doctor, which is a doctor concerning of in, uh, infertile uh, uh, men. He will uh, may need to do another uh, sperm uh, uh, semen analysis, urgent, to just to, again, to diagnose the problem. And after that, he may do another test called testosterone to see the testosterone level in your blood. And uh, the options available for you regarding the to have a baby, John, uh, first of all, we can, uh, and even the doctor can do for you a, a test from the testes. He can take a piece of tissue from the testes to see if there is a sperm or no. And with a combination of infertility doctor, if there is a sperm, you can do an UIF, what we call an IVF, which, which is a test tube baby. We'll take this sperm and then we'll inject it in the ovum. It's called an ICSI of your... Oh my uh, God, they will, take, they will take a piece from my, my testes? Uh, yeah, it will be a simple procedure. Uh, you can, uh, under a local uh, anesthesia, they will numb the area and they will take this. Yes, so I'm they will give me something not to feel pain. Yeah, yeah, they will numb okay. the area and yes. then they will yes. take this a tiny sample of uh, tissues. Okay, okay. Doctor, and, can, and can you give me can you give me any drug to uh, to produce sperm in my in my semen, please? Uh, actually, uh, uh, actually, uh, according to results. Wait, 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 Doctor Sawa, so wait, please. Please, Doctora HP. Doctora HP, please can you mute yourself? 
So yes. that's the normal standard. standard test. But for the exam, you are seeing that. Doctor. Okay. Now, yes. uh, Can you mute yourself, please? Even in facility, you know, they come with report and that breaking bad news is there. Or onco, when they come with the report and breaking bad news thing is there. You know, usually it is that. Uh, I am finished, but we are waiting for the call. We need to mute ourselves. Okay. Now, Can anyone write to your her, case, write to her to mute herself? Uh, you know, case here to see no need to say that I am not consulted. Okay? Okay. Okay. Like, only if the station mentions it, you have to uh, go and apologize. You can, can mute all the, station, the attendants. I am not to say that consulted, but do not introduce yourself. From where? From what can I mute all? Okay. okay. From your from, from the control bar, you have you have a control bar. You can say below the. You just have a window on your screen. Yes, I I try to search for this control bar. Yes, yes. Um, I love that. You can mute all of the people. Then why would her mother be having delayed? Still fine, yes. Yeah, I can how can uh, you doctor uh, HB? Then what you have to do is see the history is going to be quite short. Like I told you, you are also the history was the as in Akansha she is also history very short. Can anyone write here to her in private to, to mute herself? Dr. Ali, you go into the attendees and you see her name and you mute her. You can do this. Go where? Go where? Go to the attendees where there are names of the attendees. You just see her name. Attendance. Yes. Attendance. Yes. Amongst the group, you check her name, HP, and her mic is on. So you can unmute. You can mute her. Even I can go, I can to go to that. Yeah. I wrote for her privately, but I think you can go here by yourself, Dr. Ali, and meet her. Okay. 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 Uh, in the control board, there is uh, the icon that says uh, record the video. The, the icon that you record the video from. Yes, record the video. Yes. Yes. If we just beside, just uh, uh, to the left or to the right of this icon, you will find an icon saying mute, mute all. You can you can press this uh, button and it will mute all of the attendants except you. I don't have this uh, this icon. I I have only a recording here. Yes. Recording and they don't have a uh, mute all. Uh, I will check it. Now. Okay, okay, so. Yes, mute all. I have mute all. Yes, mute all. So, um, Yes, mute all. Find it? I, oh, yes, I find it. Yes, you can, you can mute all of the attendance from this button. Dr. Ali, just mute yes. all, and and the one who is doing the task, uh, like Dr. Soha, we can open her mic and can you just press mute all. I try. Yes, I try. Okay. Thank you. 
mute all. Why not come with me? Dr. Ali, you can close the session and we can join again. This is this is the only solution we can have. No, I can't close the session. You, no, you, 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 it worked. You just muted all of the all of the attendance. So, Dr. Saha, please open. Yeah, your mic. but there's no noise now. Yeah, it's fine now. Dr. Saha can. I think we can herself. carry on. Yeah, okay. I think so. Can I continue? Dr. Saha, can you talk now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll try. Regarding the medicine you are asking, John, uh, to increase your ability for the erection, uh, do we have medicine? But in your case, because we have high FSH level and uh, LH level, like we have what we call a gonadotrophin, but already um, you have uh, your pituitary is working, working. So it is it is not uh, suitable in your case, and. Uh, and regarding other hormone we call a steroid or anything, it is uh, sometimes it will be harmful to the testes. So uh, also it is not useful in your case. So uh, as I told you, I need to send you to the andrology doctor. Uh, he will do the test again for you, the semen analysis and the diabetic, uh, the sorry, the endocrinology doctor. He will control the blood sugar, and I need to uh, to tell you, to send you to the a dietitian, uh, he will tell you about control of the diet and about lifestyle modification also. We need uh, your weight to be reduced till uh, 30. And um, you need to make exercise. I will send you to the um, uh, physiotherapist. And um, um, I need to give you a patient information leaflet and uh, I will... Uh, book another appointment with consultant and I will give you a support a link for support group do you have any questions John uh, no no doctor but if you if you don't find this sperm in my semen I, I will be I, I will not ever be a father at all okay uh, uh, the first of seeing that um, uh, the andrology he will take this sample uh, from your testes and if there is a sperm, as I told you, with a combination of um, infertility doctor, you can have what we call an ICSI, uh, which is a tube test baby. Uh, they will take um, an ovum from your partner and they will inject this sperm inside and you can have a baby. Another thing also, if this failed, you can have what we call an adoption or uh, another option, uh, sperm donor forum. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have option of a sperm donor and we can mm -hmm. have an IUI to your uh, partner. And, uh, How's that and sound with you? Found, yes, but uh, it will be founded by NHS by, because I, I hear that it's very expensive. This is the, uh, the, the IVF you say or the, the donor sperm. It will be founded by the NHS. Yeah, it will be, uh, uh, but we need, first of all, we need to write, uh, and uh, already you completed of two years of infertility. Uh, we will do our investigations, and uh, uh, I'm not sure about, I think it will be uh, a bit of a three years, because you have a problem, uh, actually. We need also to write to clinical commissioning group, because also they, they have as a, their own criteria, but we need your way to be less than 30. And uh, can you remember me, you, you told me you are smoking? Uh, no, I am not smoking. Okay, and, and your partner is smoking? No, no. He's smoking? Okay, good. So, and you know her BMI? Yes, she is 26. Okay, that is good because they have a criteria like both of you, the BMI will be less than 30 and uh, no smoker. And uh, one of you, they will be having a uh, infertility problem. Like already you have the issues of that, no sperm in the semen. And uh, I think that I, uh, I just of a time only. 
So, okay. uh, but we need to write for them. Okay. And I think only you need to have uh, to to pay for prescription only. Okay. But there will be funding done. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Soha. Thank, Thank you for you. your patience. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And say, I am so sorry for this interruption. Um, you did very well in this session, really. Uh, you managed to mention all the point, but it's, it's a problem, uh, and it is all our um, our old problem is that time. Time is very important because if you didn't finish it within your time, there is a lot of point you didn't mention in the exam, so you will not you will not take any credit for this point, and you will lose a lot of marks. So try to to manage your time, and this will be done by practice, practice every day with your partner or by yourself in front of mirror uh, by this method you will uh, inshallah manage your time uh, you take uh, I think more than five minutes in history taking and this is uh, the main problem that taking history it is a, a, a big trap that we fall in uh, try to finish a history taking in two to three minutes not more than this and keep the uh, remaining time for uh, the examination and uh, how to explain the result and how to put management plan. So uh, when you are practice with your partner, try to finish history taking with two to three minutes by asking only the relevant question. You cover all the point, as I, as I said, but uh, uh, I didn't see or I didn't feel any sympathy in your uh, managing uh, this problem. From the start, I am broken man. I am broken and I, I am upset from my problem. Uh, so I need from my uh, healthcare professional, I need my from my uh, doctor to, to show sympathy uh, with me, what I feel. I, 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 I have to feel that you are feeling what I feel. Uh, but you take, uh, I think you take things lightly. Uh, you manage. You mention all the point in the in the explaining the result and in the management plan. You mention it very good. But the first, the most important communication with the patient. The most important point in simulated patient task. How to communicate? How to express your feeling? How show the examiner that you feel what, what the situation. Uh, how you are feeling sympathy with this patient. So I am broken man, so you have to show me some embassy. I, I am sure it will be more uh, more better in the exam uh, because your facial expression will be uh, clear for the examiner. Uh, but al also online, I can feel that. Uh, so show me some uh, some sympathy. Uh, when I tell you that, I, I, I so doctor, I know that I have no sperm in my semen. And I don't know why, and there wasn't any treatment for that. So you have to lower your voice. Don't be monotonous at all during the station. No, you have to change your tune. Sometimes when the, uh, it, it needs from you to change your tone to low or to high tone. So uh, you can tell, I'm so sorry for that. I can see how upset you are. And in a moment, we'll discuss this. Uh, uh, together, you still have. You, I can explain for you what is your problem, and we will reach to agree plan. So, I, I, at that time, I, 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 I will feel that you, you are with me. You feel what I feel. So, showing the same basic is very important thing in the examination. Please uh, concentrate on communication with the patient. Okay, not only not only information, not only information, not only applied knowledge. The exam is communication. How to communicate? Okay. Uh, then the second point you didn't ask at all about his wife. I know that in the task they write all the tests of the his wife is normal, but this only the tests, not the examination, not the history. What does the wife has a baby before she was pregnant before any surgery before? Any, a relevant history and a quick history about his wife. Um, 
then you didn't ask him whether she whether he was offered any treatment before you said yes adam i don't know that i know that you are trying to have a baby since two years have you offered any treatment for that he may be offered ivf cycle before he may be offered any drug any drug before so you have to ask this question uh, you are very good to ask about symptom of diabetes because it seems from here that this patient is diabetic so you ask about fatigability problem in water work like uh, wanted to pass urine more frequently any loss of weight like that um regarding to the management plan you didn't uh, tell him that we need to repeat the semen analysis as soon as possible if uh, the semen analysis of the patient do as a spermia we may repeat it as soon as possible, according to the tug of male infertility. If the uh, semen analysis show oligospermia, we can repeat it after three months. But if the semen analysis as a spermia, we can repeat it as soon as possible. Uh, second point, uh, when I tell you that uh, I, I I I have erection. I would problem in the, my erection, and that are like this. Don't say okay. Okay means that it is a good a good thing. So if I give you or tell you uh, anything uh, that will be upset for me, disappointing for me, don't say okay. Okay means that it is a good thing. Uh, after that or a, a, a part from this you mention all the points so from myself uh, you will pass in this task but um, uh, concentrate on communication and show the examiner how you are uh, show sympathy with, the, with this patient okay thank you dr soha thank you dr ali for nice feedback uh, regarding the repeating i told them we'll refer you to andrology and he will do the urgent semen analysis again but i did not offer from myself oh okay okay um coming to the model of answer you need to introduce yourself hello i'm dr ali one of the senior doctors in the clinic today may confirm your name and age please how would you like me to call you call me john hello john understand that you are here today because you are keen to have a baby Am I right? And you and your wife did some test for that. And you are here to discuss the result of the test and your option. Am I right? Sure. He will say, yes, doctor. Any other concern? He will say no. Okay. If he didn't uh, um, mention that, if he didn't mention that he know the result of the test from himself, as I tell uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Soha, so you have to ask him any idea about the result to know whether the patient has idea about his result or that is the first time for him to explain the result so if he didn't know any idea about the result so it will be breaking the bad news at this station it will be breaking the bad news if he didn't know idea about his semen analysis so he will t you will tell him for the first time he that he don't have sperm in his semen so it will be breaking the bad news but Fortunately, this patient already know the, the result of his semen. So by asking this question, you will be safe. Do you have any idea about the result? He said, yes, doctor, I know. I know that I don't have sperm in my semen and I don't know why. And was there any treatment for me for that? Yes, here shows the sympathy for the patient. Yes, I, I, I am so sorry for that. In a moment, I will discuss this with you. But if you give me time to, to ask you some questions to know more about you, Okay, this is our tablet. History, present illness, sexual history, partner, and the patient himself. History, present illness. I understand that you are trying for two years. Am I right? Yes. Have you offered any treatment for that? I will say no. Okay, so you know from the, uh, uh, the result of the test is that he is diabetic. Ask about the symptom as Dr. Soha did. Do you get tired easily? Do you pass your more frequently? I will say no, 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 doctor at all. So of my intruding question, also you didn't sign post for yourself and Dr. Soa here. Yes. Uh, so of my intruding question, how often do you have sexual intercourse every week? You would say, uh, yes, two times. Any difficult during sexual intercourse? Yes, doctor, I have weak erection and this is difficult. 
and difficult to arouse, but it, uh, and it made me uh, disappointed on my wife. I am so sorry for that. Coming to the partner, he you will ask uh, about his partner. Can I ask you some question about your wife? Have she ever been pregnant before? Could you tell me more about her period? Uh, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly uh, uh, cover the partner history. Any surgery, any medication, any family history? Okay, coming to the patient history. Have you further in children before? Did any semen analysis before? Dr. Soha mentioned all this point. Are you following RGB for any medical problem, any surgery, any drug right now, any allergies? Dr. Soha allergies because it will be patient safety. You smoke, drinking alcohol. What do you do for, for living? Any family history at all? Any trauma? Any concern about your weight? Yes, doctor, I noticed that my weight increased 15 kilograms 15 kilogram in the last six months. Mm, I, I, I am so sorry for that. We will discuss this. Any information do you want to add? Thank you for sharing this information with me today. This task, not breaking bad news. As I said, the patient already know the result of the test, so no breaking bad news. Mr. John, regarding your test, let me confirm your name and age, please. Okay, Mr. John Adam, 45 years old. Okay, the test show that you don't have a sperm in the semen, and this may happen if your test failed to produce the sperm, or there is a blockage in the way, or there is a wrong way for the sperm, for this sperm. And you can draw. Very, very good point from Dr. Saha that she draw. Drawing you will deliver the information very quickly to the role player. And you will show the examiner uh, that you are able to uh, deliver the information for the role player. So uh, drawing is very important. Also, it will um, will manage your time or will um, uh, keep your time, not to waste many, many, many minutes explaining for for the patient. This is just here the sperm, and here is the the pituitary gland. So by drawing you will uh, 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 not waste your time. So I can draw this for you, and you can draw, uh, John, I can draw for you. This is the sperm are formed here in the testis, and you will draw tests in response to the hormonal signals arise from the brain, gland in the brain called pituitary, and you will draw anything in the brain like that. And the sperm will pass through a tube to go out during ejaculation. Simple, simple drawing, simple drawing. As I told you before, I draw in all my sessions. All my sessions in the exam, I draw. The blood test show that you have high hormonal signals. And so the brain try to increase this hormone to stimulate the test which she failed to produce the spell. Am I clear so far? Doctor, yes, doctor, but it is any drug to increase my spell. Joe, I totally understand your concern. But the drug used to stimulate the test is called FSH or LH, and they already increased or already secreted by the, your brain. They are already high by your brain. Am I clear, John? He will say yes. John, your genetic makeup is normal, 46XY, and we did that because some genetic problem make this condition like clean filter and cystic fibrosis. Am I clear? Also, your hemoglobin A1C is high, and this means that you're, you have a high blood sugar control, as Dr. Soha said, uh, in the last three months or in the last period like that. Here, one point you can mention. For, for, from my side, from my opinion, you have to mention this point, the confidentiality. Uh, because the, the role player may be afraid that you may tell his wife he don't know he don't want to tell his wife or he don't want to uh, to inform the gb because he will write back to the gb uh, or he did he did he don't want anyone to know about this this is azospermia it is a major problem so you have to assure him about that confidentiality even if he didn't mention that he may he may ask you doctor doctor uh, do you or will you tell my wife about that? So, John, I wanted to assure you that our discussion today is very confidential, and no one come to know anything about that 
about this unless you want, even your GP and your wife. So assuring the patient about the confidentiality it will be safety point. Even if he didn't mention or he didn't ask you about that point specifically. So you have to assure him about his confidentiality. Here coming the most important point, John. I want to assure you that there are many options for you to be a good father. Here, you are uh, now giving hope to the role player. The role player now is very upset, disappointed. So when giving you, uh, when he, you will give him hope, he will concentrate with you, concentrate with you again. John, I want to assure you that there are many options for you to be a good father. First, I want you to repeat the semen test as soon as possible. Then, I want to refer you to a doctor specialized in diabetes. He may offer you some test and some treatment for this. Third, I want to refer you to a dietitian, doctor specialized in the diet, to give you advice about your diet and how to make a regular exercise. And I want to refer you to a doctor specialized in the mean sexual health, the andrology doctor, mean sexual health. He may give you some drug for this weak erection. He will ask specifically about this point so you will not give him him as i think he in the in the in the, in the task he asked about viagra by name like that so uh, if he ask you you can't give him or you can't prescribe for him viagra or any other drug so i will refer you to a doctor specialized in the mean sexual health he will uh, give you some medicine regarding this weak correction then so, if the semen analysis shows that you, didn't, you still don't have sperm, then your doctor specializes in the mean sexual health may offer you a test called the needle aspiration test. The very piece of the test will be taken by a needle under local anesthesia. You have to mention that, Dr. Sa, uh, without, without uh, promoting, without I, I, uh, I ask you. If I ask you, this will list your mark. So, you have to tell me without uh, without asking uh, this test will be under anesthesia not to feel any pain this will be patient safety and this will be examined for the sperm if you find the sperm we can use this for the test tube baby it is called the exe like that and this will be done or will be founded by the nhs if you uh, fulfill certain criteria if there is no sperm found, so you may think about another option like adoption or sperm donation. In my case so far, yes. When I ask Dr. Sa whether it will be found by NHS or no, you can mention, I can refer you to um, the fertility specialist or the GP will ask you about or will talk with you about that if you fill uh, uh, some criteria, if you and your wife meet certain criteria. And Dr. Soha mentioned already the criteria if they don't have a, a baby before, either by IVF or natural uh, conception, if they are not smoking, if their body mass index is less than 30. Uh, I, I think the four items, if the, it will be low risk pregnancy. So uh, the GB or the fertility specialist will talk, talk with you and whether you fill and your wife search a criteria. Close, don't forget to close as Dr. Soha did. I, I will give you another appointment with my consultant. It will give you some patient information leaflet and contact the number in case you have any query. Is it okay? Thank you. Okay. Any comment? Any question? Dr. Ali. Yes, Dr. Ansar. Please, sir, uh, uh, should I ask about any past history during the, the, uh, the uh, childhood of moms or any viral infection could distract the testes? Yes, but he may forget. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, I know that uh, some of our colleagues um, ask about this uh, mumps or like this infection in the childhood may affect the testes. If you wanted to ask, okay, it will not take a second from you. Okay, from my opinion, no problem to ask. Okay, sure. Thank you. Okay, okay. Excuse me, Dr. Ali. I have a question. Dr. Salma, uh, yes. Uh, yes, I have one question. That what you told that uh, to aspirate the sperm, okay, and then by a needle, uh, then uh, uh, try for the ICSI. 
So take the uh, sperm and cannot tie it IVF? Uh, IVF? Mm-hmm. With has uh, I think, uh, he. I think this is one of the indication of the eggs. If the, uh, the patient has as a spermia, so uh, the IVF will uh, uh, not be suitable for him. Uh, and uh, eggs, it is one of the modality of the IVF. So if you said IVF or eggs, it is the same. Same. You will not tell him eggs by name. You will tell him test it your baby. And if the fertility yeah. specialist will, will decide whether it can be done by either the same bill, test tube baby, IVF, or by EXE modality. Because what I know that EXE should be that if the, uh, you know, the uh, sperm is very low quality, like mortality uh, uh, low, and also uh, there is a morphology problem also, so which is called a uh, Estenogospermia. Yes, I, I, very, I, I very severely, severely uh, affected the quality. Then exit. But my question is, with the needle you'll take, but uh, can we tell that, okay, then we can do IBF? Yes, as I told you, that we will tell, you will tell him that we will do test tube baby. Yeah. If he, if you wanted to speci specify one point, uh, that the, the, the type of the test tube baby, I think it will be easy for my opinion because uh, you will take from the from the biopsy uh, one or two to, or two sperm. You will do by them uh, a simple IVF. I think it will be not not accurate. And if when anyone has another opinion, I think it will be by easy. So what what is the reason why you are uh, prefer the XC rather than IVF? What is what what is the difference? Yeah, what is the reason that you are preferring XC rather than IVF? Uh, because you will take yes, because you will take one or two sperm from the tests. I think it will be better to to make XC to in, increase the success rate. I I I I, I like. think like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. and also if we'll see that the sperm is very low quality, or you know, yes, the, uh, yes, if we'll see yes. That, if the sperm uh, low quality, it will be yes, yeah. suitable for him. Yeah, another thing that I heard someone give advice that if it is breaking bad news, better not to draw the you know, uh, better yes. not to. So, what, what is your opinion? Because I heard this one from other. No, uh, uh, in breaking the bad news, if if this patient don't know a result, uh, uh, the idea, uh, uh, don't have any idea about the result or don't know the result, so it will be breaking the bad news. And mm -hmm. in this station, if it's breaking the bad news, don't no problem to to draw. From my opinion, yeah, this is not not a problem to draw. Yeah, not all the breaking the bad news. Not all breaking yeah. bad news. You don't yeah. have to to draw. I think yeah. you don't have to draw in breaking bad news in the congenital malformation for the mother. Uh, this is will not be reasonable to draw for her a baby with a spina bifida or hydrocephalus or like that to see her baby by this way. But mm -hmm. in, in this station, no problem to draw for him the testes and the, the mm -hmm. pituitary gland and here no sperm to explain for him what is the what is the problem? What is the problem here? Yeah. Here he knows already. Here no problem. He knows. Ah uh, yes, if in he this doesn't know, he already know. Yes. So yeah. no but breaking bad news, and you you are safe yeah. to draw. No problem. So yes. safe to draw. But if he doesn't know, uh, even he though I can draw. draw. From my opinion, draw. You can draw. Also. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Yes, doctor. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, alaikum, doctor Ali. Alaikum salam. Uh, I joined lately. Uh, I want to ask one question is that in this case we will refer the patient to andrologist. Yes, and for the test tube, uh, for sorry for the uh, the test bio, the testicular biopsy. Yes. Uh, so uh, rather than the consultant, we will mention that we will refer you to the andrologist. Is it? Yes. You, yes. 
okay so another thing i want to say uh, that we have to discuss uh, in detail about the sperm donation from where uh, he will get that uh, or i will ask yeah. do you want to know yes. about the sperm donation and if you that question yes yeah. yes i understand but if time allow you i i, I um I'm sure time will not allow you in this station to to mention all the points and to okay. even explain how 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 so we if can if bring that, sperm donation. Ask, uh, that better, uh, do you want to know more about the sperm donation? If yes, they, okay. they, they have the numbers, so uh, he will point. Uh, yes. So yes. If we ask you and the time allow you, you can tell yeah. him uh, from where he oh. can bring the sperm donation. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Any other question before we'll go to the next one? Please. Excuse me. Uh, I have one question, please. Yes, Dr. Hasina. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in this situation, uh, should I ask the partner history? As uh, the report uh, shows, uh, our partner is uh, uh, within normal limit. So, um, should I ask all the history of partner? Yes, as I mentioned, uh, to be safe, to cover all the points, not to mention, not to forget anything, okay. you have to to cover the history, history of the of the person. Yes, whether she was pregnant, okay, okay. whether she offered any mm -hmm. treatment, medical problem. Okay, so because it, oh. the management plan will be different mm -hmm. if the patient has baby before. So I wanted to uh, offer he, uh, him IVF. IVF will not be founded by the NH in this station because Funded, his wife has a baby before, like that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Welcome. I have one question. How to give support if you are breaking bad news? In this case, do I tell that I will uh, call my uh, midwife or bring your partner or how? No, no. Bring his partner uh, during breaking bad news. Like uh, he has endospermia, he doesn't know his report. Now this is a breaking bad news. So how do I ask him? Uh, how I will support him? I mean, we generally say you come back with your uh, with your partner for the lady. For him, how will you say? Yes, uh, uh, it is not uh, not suitable to tell him. Do you want to to call someone to be with you? No, I think it will be not suitable for him. No one uh, want anyone else to know that he has azospermia. So in azospermia, uh, uh, don't ask him for support. Don't ask him whether he need any other one to to join us during our discussion, or his partner, or any other one else. Also, in the female, I, we will take a session in the female patient like Turner syndrome and you will explain for her the result will be also breaking bad news so it will be not suitable for her to tell her that do you want to me to call someone to be with you also it will be not suitable to offer support from other one because she may not want to anyone to know that she is Turner or even in the Maya the Tuneski Castle Hauser uh, the testicular feminization all of these you, it will be not suitable to, to mention support from other people. Uh, in this uh, situation, uh, it is ensured that uh, confidentiality will be maintained and uh, we ensure that uh, we will not tell to anybody without your permission, even your partner. Yes, I mentioned that. What is, what, what is, the, what is the question? The friends are saying to call the partner. So I'm saying that even in this situation, uh, ensure that we will not tell to the your partner without your permission. Yes, yes we tell you your partner. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Excuse okay, me, Dr. Uh, can, Ali. We, can we go to the other uh, task? Dr. Ali, one, one last question only. Uh, no. Another question. Hello. Okay, Dr. Salma. Yes. Dr. Uh, Ali, okay. Just in general, if uh, uh, you know the male uh, patient, if he need examination, okay. So 
uh, internal examination. So do you think that we will uh, refer to urologists to examine? Yes, uh, um, we don't offer examination for the male. If need, we not offer examination for the male. If he need examination, we refer him to a, any other specialty, as you said, the urologist, the main sexual health urologist. But we don't offer examination for the male. For any, like uh, any clean filter syndrome, small test is just to confirm it. No. For what? The, the small filter testing? syndrome, yeah, or um, you know the uh, erection problem or this um, uh, other. If there is any abnormality. So. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, you may can mention that also. You can mention we can refer you to doctor specialized in the in the main sexual health uh, mm -hmm. or in this specialty to offer you some examination like that, like that, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, if the okay. time allow you, you, no problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome, Doctor Hossam. Uh, hello, hello, uh, hello, Doctor Ali. I wanted to add something that uh, regarding IVF uh, in case of uh, female factor or in case of male with uh, oligospermia, conventional IVF done when uh, 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 semen analysis high uh, sperm count. For example, uh, each uh, oocyte should be inseminated uh, with at least from 50 to 200 uh, thousand uh, semen. Uh, in case of uh, as a, uh, uh, one sperm or two sperm, uh, in such case we do ex what I want to stress here when we do this uh, needle or testicle biopsy, it should be done in a fertility center with a cryopreservation services because we don't guarantee later that this uh, uh, one or two sperms can be uh, obtained once time. So we should do it at a fertility center with uh, cryopreservation services to freeze this uh, uh, sperms for uh, using them later in exit. That's what I wanted to add. Okay, thank, thank you very much. It's, uh, good, good points. Thank you, Dr. Hussain. Uh, Dr. Allen, sorry. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to think about the diagnosis in this case, really high gonadotropy in small testicles and normal cardiotype. What do you think? Yes. Hypergonadotrophic hypergonadism. What, what is the most likely diagnosis in this case? Yes. Uh, hypergonadotrophic hypogonadism. So specifically hyper, any hyper, disease hyper, called hyper, hyper, yeah, hypergonadotrophic hypogonadism. Yes. Yes, primary, primary testicular failure. It may be any cause, Doctor Ala. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, any any cause like uh, he, try, he tried before chemo, radio, uh, infection. Any uh, cause in the testis itself can affect the varicocele. But I don't know the varicocele. It will be removed from this because it will not uh, do as a spermia. Uh, so any cause in the testis any primary cause in the test because it is hypergonadotrophic hypogonadism so the in the cause here in the test the lesion here in the test so i don't know what yeah, uh, what, is the, what is the exact diagnosis yeah, it may be different, different i don't know diagnosis. really because the small testicles all the time going with uh, with genetic and uh, genetic problem but uh, now he's yes maybe maybe but the the, is, is, is good. and not the cystic fibrosis <laughs> And maybe another genetic problem we don't we don't know. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, welcome. Dr. Ali, uh, Dr. Ali, I think the most common cause of a testicular failure is idiopathic, sir. Uh, maybe, may, maybe yes. I, I I read that in the talk that most of the causes of uh, azo or abnormal sperm count. I think it was for abnormal sperm count. It was idiopathic. Not, uh, not as a sperm, yeah. Abnormal sperm I, quality. I think they said that uh, testicular failure. It, most common cause of testicular failure is idiopathic. Idiopathic, I, okay. I think, but maybe I'm not sure. Uh, maybe oh, I'm, okay. I'm can, not we right. Can, we can uh, revise this point again from the talk, okay. Okay. Torrent. Uh, to solve. Yes, sir. We'll do the next station. 
But please uh, forgive me, sir, if you find me hesitating. I'm not well prepared, okay? No problem, no problem. All of us were, were like that. Okay, you start I will counting adjust two, two minutes. minutes for you. Okay, I will adjust okay, two minutes sir. for you, Dr. Dr. Ansar, okay? Two minutes start. Thank you, sir. Is this is a fertility clinic, doctor? Yes, he didn't mention here. So if the task didn't mention, okay, don't 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 mention. I will not say it. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. I will adjust it in a minute because the two minutes finished already. Okay. Hello. I am Professor Abdel Qadir, one of the doctors in the clinic today. May I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, I am Mary David, Def, 40 years old. Okay, nice to see you. Uh, how nice can I call you? you? Uh, okay, call me Mary. Okay, Mary, fine. How I can, how I can help you today, Mary? Mm. Okay, you can help me. Got uh, your doctor, your colleague, doctor, did for me a, a surgery called sterilization, and I am here today because uh, the NHS should found for me to reverse this surgery. I want to have a baby, so I I I, uh, I want you to reverse this surgery for me. Okay, uh, okay, Mary. I am sorry to tell you that uh, my consultant is actually in a sick leave here, so I am here instead of him in order to address your concern. Uh, what I understand through what you're saying that you want to reverse your uh, sterilization in order to get uh, uh, to uh, get a baby. I'm all right. Yes. Okay, Mary. Before we are talking about this issue. Can I uh, ask you uh, multiple questions in order to uh, to know the best way for your concerns? Okay, no problem. Okay, do you have children before, Mary? Yes, I have three children. Yeah, and do you deliver normally or by cesarean section? No, uh, all my babies by cesarean section. And when you perform uh, sterilization, since how long? Yes. yes, it was since 10 years, I think, during my last uh, cesarean section. Your colleague told me that it will be dangerous for me to have a baby anymore. So he offered me to do this 
uh, surgery. And unfortunately, I accept and I agree for that. But I hear on the internet and I, 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 I read here and there that any woman can have four, four or five or six even cesarean section without any complication. So why he offered me that? Hello. Yes, did you hear Hello? me? Yes. Yes, I hear you. I'm sorry for the internet. But could you tell me, Mary, uh, uh, why did you accept it in the beginning, from the beginning, to do sterilization? What, what? Excuse me? Uh, I think you are, uh, you agree, uh, you agree before to do sterilization, uh, uh, Mary, because... Yes, uh, because I some, did. I, yeah. Yes, I did. I agree already. But he scared me. He told me that uh, it would be dangerous for me because okay. I have cerebral section. So at that time, I can't, I can't uh, think, I can't think anymore. I was afraid because I have bleeding in this pregnancy, my 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 after pairs was down and I have bleeding and the blood transfusion. So he scared me and he said, if I come pregnant again, it will be life threatening. So I, I, I did agree for that. But nowadays I, I read that many women can have four or five cesarean section. So okay, but he, did he justify his, his, uh, his, um, uh, his, uh, did the consultant justify it? Why you want to do sterilization for you just because you do three cesarean section before or because of something else? Yes, he did. He said that because I have three cesarean section and my afterbirth is down. Uh, so in the second time, maybe also down and they may, I need a hysterectomy, need my, my, my life will be in a dangerous. So he offered for me sterilization. Okay. Okay, Mary. Uh, did you, do you have any uh, medical condition of concern, or you are to see uh, to see a doctor for, or you? No, no, at all. Okay. Do you, do you receive any drugs? No. Do you have any drug allergy? No. Do you, do you perform any surgery apart from sections and sterilization do you, no. in your tummy or? No, no, not at all. Okay. Um, do you know uh, about the uh, operation of sterilization? Do you know uh, we, the doctor used which, uh, uh, which method of sterilization or? Yes. He told me that he bought clips, yes. Yeah, clips. I think yes. uh, they, 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 it's called Felchy Clips. Do you remember the name? Or just no, I didn't, I, I didn't remember that, no. Okay. If there is any, any, uh, any cause you want to reverse this realization, apart from getting another baby, no, I, I, I only I wanted to have another baby. Okay. And what about your partner? Is he agree with you about that? He is really yes. supportive to you about that? Yes, he supports me uh, a lot. He, he also, he wanted to have a baby. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, Mary. Uh, I thank you for sharing this information with me. And uh, and I'm I'm glad that the NHS will fund uh, fund you to reverse uh, your sterilization. Uh, actually, uh, reversal of sterilization uh, uh, it could be done uh, uh, using uh, laparoscopy by removing these clips. And uh, uh, Actually, the the pro the process has a good prognosis uh, or has a good fate. Actually, because uh, removing uh, the sterilization uh, formed by clips can lead to uh, about uh, uh, forty percent or for forty in one in one hundred chance of getting pregnant after. Are you with me? Yes, I'm following you. Yes. 
So, uh, of, of course, we will try uh, uh, to do it. And I, I, I think the uh, success rate is reasonable in your condition. So you agree with me, uh, doctor, that I have to, uh, I, I, I have a right. I have my right yeah, to the NHS. Yeah, of course I agree them. with you, Mary. Yeah, okay. So? Yeah, yeah, I agree with you and I, I, I support you in your decision, actually, because this is, uh, this is your right, this is your right to do it. But uh, I am a little bit concerned about uh, your age. So you allow me to my explain age. this. What about my age? I am 40 only. Yes, I am no, young. No, no, I'm, yes, of course you are young, but I think the more the age, the more the, uh, the more the pregnancy or the coming pregnancy to have a complication, and the more the the incidents or the the going to occur to get a miscarriage. I'm sorry, I have mm. I have to tell you what the advantage and what the disadvantage. Okay, tell if me. No problem. Okay, tell me what is that? Tell me. The, the the percentage of getting a miscarriage increasing with age, especially above 35 years of age. Also, the uh, the uh, the incidence of to get a baby with uh, 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 congenital anomaly increasing also with uh, the the female age. But actually, if if pregnancy happen, we will give a concern. Uh, we will screen you for tests for a Down syndrome or any. Uh, uh, any abnormality in you in the genetic makeup of your baby okay are you with me mary yes yes i am following you yes besides that uh, uh yes the uh, incidence of uh, to get pregnant after reversal of sterilization is good especially with the clips but also there is a, a certain percentage that the pregnancy will delayed or will not occur and maybe we will need a, a microsurgery for your tubes to in order to fix it so oh, actually this is a possibility yeah. too uh, yes uh, uh, so and at this time think, and doctor? I think this is your right to reverse yours if, if you want to get a baby. Right. But my duty is to tell you is to tell you what is the pros and cons or what is the advantage advantage of uh, of your decision. And of course, it will be you. The decision will be yours at the end. Okay. Because actually, reversal of sterilization it's a it's a surgery. And you will you will you will be uh, uh, you will be uh, uh, exposed to uh, hazards of surgery, hazard of anesthesia, uh, and uh, the and the uh, the success rate actually is about fifty percent, and that's it. Besides that, after that reversal of sterilization, and even if successful, and you get a baby, there is still some hazards to got pregnant at your age okay so if you are you are agree with me you have to uh, you have to uh, uh to, to think about what i'm telling you and of course at the end it would be your decision definitely okay. i will stop, I, I will uh, give you or provide you a patient uh, written information about this this uh, process of reversal of sterilization and uh, uh, I, my number, if you still concerned, and of course, when my consultant regain again from his sick leave, I will arrange an appointment with him in order to get you, you and your partner more information from him. Okay. It's quite all right with you, Mary. Uh, okay, doctor. Do you have any other questions or any concern? No, no. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rinsa. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm really, I, I can't find anything in my mind to say. <laughs> no problem, no problem at all. It is one of the difficult situations you may ever face. 
So and no actually, problem. I didn't read the uh, patient. I'm not reading the. I didn't read the patient information leaflet of uh, of uh, sexual uh, of sub fertility no, and sexual history. No, I'm sorry. No problem. We are here uh, to to learn. Uh, the, uh, you you will be more better by practice, inshallah. No problem at all. Uh, so you Thank did you, sir. Well for first time for this station this is one of the difficult station and it was angry angry woman so um, also you will be tested here how you will communicate with this angry woman and how you take the patient from the beginning of the station of uh, the station to your side um, usually any any angry woman any angry patient try to take the patient in your side from the first of the station not to waste the whole station, okay? Try to be echo of the patient. When the patient said, I am angry for, I, I, I am upset, be, be an echo. Yeah, say, yes, I can see how angry you are. I can see how upset you are. Uh, doctor, I wanted to uh, make a, a complaint. Yes, I, I understand your concern. You are right, and but you can justify. I, doctor, I am very angry because I am waiting. I am very angry because your doctor did. Yes, I can see how angry you are. I can see how upset you are. So try to be the echo of the patient and try to take the patient in your side from the start. And this not to waste is the whole station. So this is an angry patient. Uh, don't don't tell from the from the start as you did. Don't tell her that you agree for that and you sign consent for that. So why you came today to, to complain? No, it will be not not uh, not like that. It will be not reasonable to tell her that you agree for this uh, procedure. You sign a consent. So you don't have the... You, I, I know that you didn't uh, tell her that you don't have the right unlike that, but this is what I, I understand from your question. When you said, did you agree for that? Did you sign a consent for that? So I agreed already, so I don't have the right to come today. No, still I have the right to come today and to ask for a reversal, to ask for any other option. And whether the NHS will be founded or no, don't say yes, yes, sure, the NHS will be founded. No, we don't know. We don't guarantee that the NHS will found or no. Uh, uh, the NHS can found this surgery in some exceptional criteria. You may, you may be one of these. You may be one of this, but don't say yes, you are guaranteed. It will be considered as a patient safety. If you are uh, tell that tell her that you are sure 100% that the NHS will be founded for her surgery. And finally, the patient didn't define this foundation. So be, 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 be careful when you uh, promise any patient for any procedure, for any foundation, if you are not sure, don't say, don't tell, yes, sure, no. You may be, you may be one of these exceptional. So, don't tell her that you sign a consent, you did agree for that, it, it will be sure that the NHS will be found. And a major mistake you did in this station, you only tell me that age, what is my age? Don't tell, that, tell her that, if it is a good, a good um, video on the RCOG, uh, the strategy videos. Um, when the role, when the candidate tells the role players that your age, your you are old woman like that, and how the role player react for react and how it was angry. So please don't. This is a woman. So any woman don't uh, like anyone till here that your age is you are old age that your age is not suitable for. No, don't tell her that like that. I wanted to take you through a course of pregnancy in over 40, like that. I wanted to take you through a course of pregnancy over 40. I want to tell you how the pregnancy will be in the age over 40. You didn't say, tell that you are old woman or you are young woman, no. I said you are 40 and this is a reality. I wanted to take, tell you that what it will be the pregnancy over the age of 40. There will be like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, so this is major point during communication. Communication is very, very important and it is an art. How to communicate with the patient is an art. And it will 
be good with practice with your role player. Uh, you cover most of the points. You take history, good history, and you manage and you explain for here what the, what is the sterilization, what is the reverse of the sterilization, and how it will be difficult, and they not guarantee to be successful. So let us go through the model of answer, not to waste your time. Yes, get introduce yourself and confirm the identity. Hello, I am Dr. Ani, one of the senior doctors in the clinic today. May confirm your name and age. If they didn't mention the clinic, don't, don't stay or don't mention the clinic. If they mention Safetati Clinic, mention Safetati Clinic. I would like me to call you Mary. Hello, Mary. Mary, here situation awareness. Good, you, you, you managed to mention this point. Uh, the consultant is in the sick leave. Can I continue the consultation on behalf of him? Sure, she will say yes. No, no role player will say no. No, I don't want to continue. Why she came? Why I, I, I am in the exam, not in the reality. So yes, doctor, no problem. I understand that you are here today uh, because you are you wanted to have a reversal of sterilization. Am I right? Or as you said, how can I be help today? No problem from any of these questions. Yes, in a moment I will discuss this with you. But if you don't mind, I want to ask you some questions to know more about you. Is it okay? Please be systematic. If you are systematic, you will not miss any point. Inshallah. History of present illness. Could you tell me why you have this operation? She will say yes during my last cesarean section. Your colleague told me that it will be risky for me to have another cesarean section. So he sterilized me. Now I came to know that people may can uh, may have five or five six cesarean section without any complication, and I think it was, it I think it, this was not necessary, and I think that the NHS should fund for that. Yes, I totally understand your concern, and I can see how upset you are. When did you have this operation? This is important question about the operation of sterilization. When did you have this one? What is the type of the operation? Yes, you 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 mentioned this question. Any complications so far? Because the success of the reversal of the uh, sterilization will depend on the woman age, and since when she has this operation, what are the procedure used and the remaining glimpse of the tube? Okay, so now you analyze analyze the complaint history of present illness. Could you tell me why you have this? Why you have this operation? And when? And what type of complication? And uh, what type of the operation? And whether any complication? Then go through the tablet. Have you ever been pregnant before? Had you seen say three times? Could you tell me more about it? You will see three cesarean section. What about your period? When was the last one? What about your cervical smear? It's up to date, it's normal, any medical, any surgical history, any drug history, smoking, alcohol, social history, what do you do for a living? Here, it is important to question, and you didn't mention that. Are you with someone right now? Yes. Is he supportive? Yes. You, you mentioned this point, I know. But this is the, the most important question. Is he the father of these children? Is he the father of these children? She will say, no, this is a new partner. Yes, so this, this woman came today after this, after 10 years, and when she is 40 years old, because she has a new partner, and this new partner want baby. So she changed her mind and came today to ask for reversal. So this is her right, no problem at all. Yes, is he the father of these children? She will say no. This is a new partner, and he wants to have a baby and like that. And he supports me in my choice like this. How old is he? He ask about the partner. Maybe he is over age, he has any medical problem. So after doing the reversal of a sterilization, he will not she will not be able to become pregnant also. So ask about the age, how he has he father HND before, he fit and well, like that. This is regarding to the partner. Then complete her history, any family history, do you want to add anything? Thank you for sharing this information with me today. Mary, if you don't mind, I wanted to review your notes. This is also information gathering. Any patient coming after surgery, you have to review her notes. Patient coming after cesarean section, you have to review her notes. Patient coming after 
obstetric anal sphincter injury complaining of any problem like uh, um, incontinence for fleetus or for feces like that you have to review her notes this patient coming after esterilization so you have to review her notes to know more about the surgery and how and when and whether any complication then coming to the consultation Mary Sterilization is introduced to be a permanent method of contraception. You didn't tell her that you know that you know that sterilization is a permanent method and you did agree for that and like no. Sterilization is introduced to be a permanent method of contraception. And so reversal of sterilization will will always be difficult and not guaranteed to be successful. And success rate depends on many factors like your age, your method of sterilization and the time since when you have the surgery and the lens of remaining tubes. Also, we're not guaranteed to be found by the NHS and the NHS will found this surgery on exceptional cases. You may be one of this. You can have it on private, but it will be expensive and not always successful. This surgery can be done by, you explain for here now what will be the reversal of sterilization. It will be surgery, can be done laparoscopic. You will say by telescope containing camera, introduce through your tummy, and then the clips will be removed or remove the block the part of the tube, and you can draw. And the put a wire through the stitches, and the tubal end will be stitches by fine stitch, or will be uh, sutured by fine stitches, and then remove the wire again. And you can draw, draw a tube, with two ends, remove the block ends, both wire, do reanastomosis, connect the ends again. After that, remove the wire. Am I clear so far? She will say yes. Like any other surgery, it is, has a complication from the anesthesia and from the surgery itself. So you may have a bladder injury, you may have a bowel injury, ureter injury, failed the entry due to the adhesion, Bleeding, blood transfusion, any concern regarding blood transfusion? She will say no. So now you give her an idea about the reversal of sterilization. It is not simple procedure. I, I will take you from your hand. I will go to the theater, open your tummy, do reanastomosis again. No, this will not be easy surgery. So I have to tell her what is the advantage and what is the disadvantage of that. Mary. Also, all of this, you have another option to have a baby. And this can be done by test tube baby, IVF. Where the, your ovary will be stimulated and collect the egg to be fertilized by your partner's semen. Am I clear? It seems that simple option. Yes, as you said, you have to mention or you have to tell her what will be the pregnancy after the age of four. Mary, I want to discuss you use the effect of the pregnancy in mother more than 40. Your baby may be grow smaller than expected. This is the SGA. Delivered before the due date. This is the preterm. May have congenital anomaly. May uh, die inside the womb. You may have miscarriage. Also, you may have hypertension, diabetes, and clot formation. So, you may think of another option, Mary, like adoption and surrogacy. Okay, so you you mention all her choices either reversal of sterilization and what will be the advantage and disadvantage the ivf and at the end you mention also adoption and surrogacy if she said can you give me more information about the surrogacy you have you you may tell her what be what will be the surrogacy so mary we have another option like adoption or surrogacy generally we have two options of surrogacy either full surrogacy or partial surrogacy full surrogacy it is the one included ivf cycle ivf cycle here we will take the egg from the patient and we'll do uh, i um, fertilize a uh, uh, put here in the test tube and fertilize here by hair bar transceiving then the fertilized egg will be implanted in the surrogate mother this is called the full surrogacy. This will include IVF cycle. So here, 
the baby will be genetically linked to the patient and will not be genetically linked to the surrogate mother. In the partial surrogacy, concentrate please, because all of us <laughs> make uh, difference or make a mistake in this. Partial, partial surrogacy, in the partial surrogacy, here it will be like artificial insemination. So, uh, we'll take the sperm from, or the semen from the male partner and inject it directly to the surrogate mother, artificial insemination. So this is called partial surrogacy. Here, the original patient will be not will not be genetically linked to the baby, but the surrogate mother will be genetically linked to the baby. So we have to two method of surrogacy. Full surrogacy, including IVF, so full IVF, full IVF, or partial surrogacy, include artificial insemination. Does it make any sense? Okay, she will say, yes, doctor, I understand you, but I wanted to apply complaint for your doctor. Yes, Mary, I totally understand your concern, and if you wanted to do and to understand your concern, but if you wanted to take things further, we have expert people in the PALS department. PALS it is the patient advice liaison service. Patient advice liaison service can help you regarding this complaint. I will arrange another appointment with my consultant, give you some patient information leaflet and the contact number in case of any quiet. Okay, you mentioned all the point. Okay. So you will not miss any any of the point to cover. Yes, I'm ready now to hear your comments and your question. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Ali, for sending me. But I, I want to ask: if this is uh, to this case relevant to ask about smoking, alcohol, uh, drugs? Uh, is, is this is relevant to this. I mean, yes, uh, if uh, yes, simply if you. Yes, simply if you will offer her uh, IVF, as we said, there are certain criteria, it should be not uh, not a smoker. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, what else you ask about from the smoking? Any family history, it will be also if she has any family chromosomal abnormality or like that. Uh, I mean, as I, I used to put the tablet. Yes, I understand. Mistake to uh, to, to forget about the history. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. The, the the net is very bad because actually here in Egypt now there is a storm. There uh, a lot of winds. Maybe it affect the internet. Yes, yes. So so that yes yes. Uh, okay. Hello. Sam, yes, I'm hearing you. Uh, uh, Dr. Ali, do you agree with me to answer this question in a proper way? First of all, we should uh, tell the patient that she is not a proper candidate for uh, reversal of sterilization because this operation, uh, the success rate of it uh, is uh, uh, affected by many factors is the age because the success rates less uh, after uh, 40s and also is uh, uh, how many how long uh, since is uh, the tubal uh, ligation was done because if it's more than five years the success will also will be less and we should uh, review the records because in case of uh, uh, she used the fell she all uh, fell loop clips success may be up to eight but in case of using electrosurgery, it dropped to 50%. And even in case of sure there is no pregnancy uh, will be accomplished at all. So that we should uh, consider here that it's uh, according to the studies, if uh, she uh, 
goes to IV if it's better for hair because still we can't guarantee even if after tuber uh, reversal a pregnancy not guaranteed and even there is high risk of uh, ectopic pregnancy. Uh, and uh, tell here that's the best option IVF and uh, or adoption. And the way also is still uh, give here a hope that uh, because there's some uh, sort of misleading or not proper counseling during uh, taking the consent because uh, tuber sterilization should not be done at any reproductive occasion like uh, miscarriage, CS, so that she has. Uh, the right uh, to to uh, has the right to ask for the commission the community uh, group to have exemption uh, to undergo IVF cycles paid by NHS. Okay. Okay. Good, well, Dr. Hassan. You did good. I think this is uh, the point here. She has right to ask for uh, IVF cycle uh, free because there is uh, some uh, not proper counseling during uh, the operation. So we should write to the commission, the community group uh, for exemption. I think uh, I, I, I remember that. Yes, good, good point, Dr. Hassan. You mentioned all but, uh, but, good but, this is uh, my, with all my respect to Dr. Hussain, this is ju judgmental way. Uh, I, I should, I shouldn't, I think I shouldn't tell her uh, this is not suitable for you. I, 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 I yes, think she has to uh, say that. Some, uh, so, uh, yes, some point important. Uh, I, I feel from your uh, your consultation, Dr. Hussain, that you 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 put your decision and. Uh, um, you you choose for the patient and didn't give her her right to choose and her right to to express her wishes from the start you said that this surgery will not be suitable for you and i will do for your ivf uh, like that and like that so uh, make it open 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 discussion don't uh, don't be judgmental like dr ansar said uh, don't choose for the patient give her give her uh, all her option discuss what is the what is the sterilization what is the reverse of sterilization let her choose she may, after all of that, I, I need a reversal of sterilization. I know that I, I will have bladder injury, bowel injury like that. I need reversal. So don't be judgmental, as Dr. Ansar said. Make it open question, open discussion. Uh, don't choose for the patient. Give her all the options, and at the end, the decision is yours, like that. OK, OK. Thank you. Welcome. OK, uh, Dr. Ali. Uh, yes, before the surgery, minutes. we have to offer them. Hello, uh, okay, yes. Before the surgery, we have to offer them some test. Uh, I think uh, regarding her evolution status. So we'll tell the patient that uh, before the surgery, we want to uh, ensure that how your ovaries are producing egg. So we'll do some blood tests, and also because this is your new partner, so we'll offer uh, some uh, semen analysis for him before the surgery. Yes, so can... uh, yeah, no problem. You to mention that uh, the investigation uh, that you uh, you went to offer the patient. If that time allow you mention, this is not uh, not yeah. um, uh, only model of answer. This is a suggested model of answer, and all of us. So, when when we discuss, we will we discuss uh, because uh, no, not only the uh, correction of the tube will give uh, uh, pregnancy. But for the pregnancy, uh, the good egg and sperm is also necessary. So we will check uh, our, uh, your ovaries are producing the good quality egg by doing some tests and also the semen analysis of your partner before the yes, surgery, right. offering the surgery. Yes. And we'll also yes. mention uh, because you have the previous three C-section, so there is a, a, an also risk of having the after problem in this if you become pregnant. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. We can like that. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Afrinaz. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I want to share the next station. Okay, Dr. Ali, come in. Okay, Dr. Ahmed. OK, 
Okay. Mm. I, I will adjust two minutes for you. Okay. Okay, it starts two minutes. Okay. minute finish. I will adjust the, the 10 minutes. Okay, start it, please. Okay. Uh, hello. I'm, hello, I'm Dr. Ahmed, one of the senior doctors on duty today. How may I help you, Mrs. Lucy? Yes, uh, I am Lucy Brown, 35 years. Okay, Mrs. Lucy. So, uh, how are you coping with your uh, with your vomiting, uh, with your sickness and abdominal pain till now? Yes, doctor. I have this vomiting. I can't. I can't keep even um, any 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 fluid or any water. Uh, so, please, can you give me any any drug to stop this vomiting? Okay, sure, Mrs. Lucy. Uh, I would like to assure you that we will do our best for you to feel better as soon as possible. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, so uh, Mrs. Lucy, uh, I understand from your notes here that you, you have been married since two years and you are on an IVF cycle and uh, you are complaining now from sickness and uh, and abdo uh, pain in your tummy okay and you did some investigations by the by the doctor and it showed that your uh, blood components and uh, some uh, elements in your blood they are okay and you have large ovaries am i right with that yes uh, I, I i don't know what the, the test they did for me but uh, the, uh, the doctor in the er told me that all are normal except my uh, my ovaries is enlarged i don't know why Okay, so uh, I will go uh, into your concern right away, but uh, may you allow me to have some time to ask you some more questions to know, to know more about you? Oh, okay, doctor, no problem. Uh, okay, so can you, uh, can you tell me please more about your sickness? When did it start and uh, can you yes. tolerate oral fluids or not? Yes, it was since uh, uh, two days. I didn't uh, keep any any food or any fluid in my in my tummy at all, uh, and I have this pain also since two 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 days. 
Okay, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, so, uh, did you lose weight? Did you have do you have any associated symptoms like uh, difficulty of breathing, uh, swelling of your legs, or something? No, no, I don't have. Okay, so uh, can I can I ask you why did you do the IVF cycle in the first place? Yes, I made sense to you, and I tried. Um, many times with my partner, but um, feel the first time for me to do this IVF. Uh, so the doctor gave me some injection, and after that they took an egg from my ovary. Um, after they took the egg from my ovary, I feel that pain. I feel that pain. I, I think they did something in my ovary. They may hurt my ovary, uh, no, it's not that exactly uh, uh, hurt, hurting your ovary. Uh, actually, wh what you have is something called uh, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Okay, so this syndrome actually results because of your ovaries. Uh, the uh, ovaries uh, respond to the fertility drugs that you are taking. Okay, so uh, the ovaries uh, increase in, in size and they produce chemicals in, into your bloodstream that um, helps the fluid to pass from the blood vessels into your tummy so that's why it causes you uh, some discomfort and sickness okay uh, i wanted to tell you that uh, this condition is a common condition with the fertility drugs about one one in three of women uh, receiving these drugs may experience such symptoms okay and uh, we will do our best uh, in, uh, through a group of uh, specialized doctors to help you and uh, show you the best uh, the best plan okay yes yes doctor so uh, it, it will affect my health I, it will affect my ovaries i will not have mm -hmm. a baby no no not exactly um uh first of all um i would like to ask you if uh, you, you didn't you, you didn't have any children before right okay uh, no are, are I, you... I don't have any children before okay so do you follow up any medical conditions with your gp no and did you have any surgeries before in your tummy or from down below no okay so uh, what do you do for a living mrs lucy i'm a housewife Okay, Mrs. Lucy. So, uh, getting into your concern, uh, first of all, uh, um, I will offer you to be admitted to the hospital. Okay, and uh, a group of a group of uh, specialized doctors will uh, look after your case. Okay, they will offer you some uh, medications uh, for the sickness, so you will feel better. Okay, and uh, also they will offer you some procedures to. Uh, prevent any clots to be formed in your leg, including uh, elastic stocking or maybe uh, blood th thinning uh, injections like heparin. Okay. Am I clear? Okay. Yeah, yes, doctor, I can hear. Uh, also, you can may receive some uh, drips into your arm. Okay. And uh, we will observe uh, some elements in your blood daily to uh, monitor your progress and to, uh, to know if the and to make sure that everything is okay. 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 So um, uh, I would like to tell you that he, he, I would refer you to your fertility specialist. Okay. So he can discuss with you uh, the different options to overcome this condition. Okay. Either he, you, he can cancel uh, this IVF cycle or uh, he have, may have different options to uh, freeze, for, for example, freeze your embryos or something. Uh, and he can, you can uh, transfer these embryos in another cycle. Mm, so, so uh, doctor, do, do you think uh, why they didn't return back my eggs? Uh, I think in that in, in, uh, if you, if he if he, you, they return back your eggs right, right away, uh, you may you may feel this pain in, in a more uh distressing form and it may take longer to recover from it so that's why they just took this uh, took the eggs and uh, they may freeze all the embers and they you may transfer it in another cycle okay mm -hmm. oh, okay okay uh, 
uh, I, I, of course, uh, I will arrange for you a meeting with the fertility specialist to discuss with, uh, with you these uh, options and these uh, and these issues in more details. Okay, okay. Doctor, it is necessary for me to be admitted because I wanted to go. Today is my uh, my anniversary, and I wanted to to celebrate with my husband. So can I go home today? Uh, actually, you can, you can go home, yes, but uh, uh, allow me to give you some a list of advices so you can. I, I'll make sure that you are safe at home, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I uh, advise you to stay active as much as possible, okay, and to drink to thrive. Uh, please, uh, if you have you want to take any painkillers, uh, I would advise you to take anything like paracetamol and to prevent to take uh, aspirin, for example, because it may affect your kidney function. Um, also, I, I would I, I don't recommend to have any uh, sexual intercourse in these days and to prevent any sudden movement. And also, I will give you a contact number that you may contact uh, contact us at any time if you feel that you have difficulty in breathing or that you, your pain in your tummy is increasing or you have uh, leg uh, pain or swelling, okay? And uh, I strongly advise you to come after two days to do the follow-up uh, blood tests to make sure that you're okay. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, so uh, I will just inform my consultant about, about your case, okay? And I will okay. write down I will write down these notes and I will send them to your GP, so he can know uh, he can follow up you after afterwards, okay? Okay. So do you want to ask me any other questions, Mrs. Lucy? No, no, doctor. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Ahmed. You have remaining thirty seconds but you managed to finish before the time very good excellent dr ahmed i i like your uh, your uh, method and your way uh, very much good uh, you cover all the point and the, your uh, counseling the patient was very good uh, so for my opinion during this session you will you will pass this task uh, this was one of the records came in our exam in November 2019, and uh, this was was patient was moderate ovarian hyperstimulation. The patient was vomiting, uh, and uh, when I entered the uh, cubic, it was vomit. So I offer for her uh, and sickness medication. Dr. Ahmed didn't give me time to to. To do like this, he also uh, he immediately uh, ask about my sickness and offer and sickness medication. So very good, and you cover all the point in the history relevant way, and all the uh, management plan you mention it. You mention it safety point for this patient to, to be admitted because she has severe vomiting. So one is of criteria of the admission in hyper ovarian hyperstimulation. Uh, you offer for her the fluid in the intravenous drip because she can't also uh, tolerate uh, fluid and uh, and the uh, the blood agent and the stocking to prevent the black clot and the monitor her uh, daily uh, laboratory result and her weight all of this point you manage to mention and if the patient uh, when the patient tell you that I want to go home. First, you can tell her that for your safety, it may, will be better to be admitted in the hospital till we be sure that you are in good general health, you are able to drink and like that, because she can't drink, so, so uh, it would be safe for her to be admitted till she can tolerate, uh, at least to can tolerate oral fluid. After that, you can go home, as you mentioned, and you, did, uh, and you mentioned for her Hair management out, outpatient plan. So uh, let's go for the mode of answer. Hello, I am Dr. Ali, one of the senior doctors in the duty today. May you confirm your name and age, please? How would you like me to call you? Hello, Lucy. Here, the patient will mock vomiting. She will act as she is vomit. And you can 
tell her, are you okay? Stop here. Are you okay? You want to call the nurse to give you an sickness drug like that. She said, okay, doctor, no problem. I understand that you are here today because you have pain and vomiting after fertility drugs. Am I right? She will say, yes. You Here, you have to show her sim sympathy like Dr. Ahmed said. I'm so sorry for that. Lucy, before we discuss the best management plan for you, I want to ask you some questions more about you. Is it okay? Systematic way. Dr. Ahmed mentioned uh, the Vaiham stimulation in the start. It is up to you. You can explain the condition for hair in the start. If the role player uh, uh, wants from you to explain for hair, con hair condition before the history or to take the history before explaining the condition. But don't forget to complete the history. Don't forget to, uh, to collect the information, to gather the information. Okay, could you tell me more about what happened? Any associated symptom, like Dr. Rahma said, any short of breathing, any increase in your weight, any or your abdominal waist? Did, did you notice any decrease in your uh, urine? Uh, you can ask this question if the patient can't uh, answer you. Uh, which drug did you receive? When this problem starts, you will say three days after the collection of the egg. Okay. How many egg was taken, if she remember? Were the embryo returning back or no? Do you have any problem? Did you have this problem before? Or I have a stimulation before? Did you have BCO before that? Okay, all this from the guideline. Also, you can mention this point. This the facility center gave you information about the symptom assign. You will ask for medical help and contact number. This may be also considered patient safety because the facility center should give all the patient receive facility treatment information about the symptom and sign when they will ask for medical help and the contact number. You can mention that. This is analysis of the complaint. Then goes through the, our template of static history. Have you ever been pregnant before? Have you ever, have you tried any treatment for that? Could you tell me more about your period? When was the last one? About your cervical smear? Any medical history? Any surgical history? Any drug smoking and alcohol? Social history? What do you do for a living? Are you somewhere right now? Is he supportive? Any family history of me, uh, you want to tell me about? Thank you for sharing this information. Examination. This also will be a part of the information gathering. I want to examine you in the presence of Shabron. Dr. Ahmad, I think you didn't mention examination. In the presence of Shabron, if you don't mind. Yes, Dr. Ahmad? Yes, yes, I didn't mention the examination. Yes. yes. Uh, Pulse blood pressure and temperature to be sure that you are best possible shape. Examine your tummy for any accumulation of the fluid or and measure your uh, waist. Uh, check uh, your chest for any infection, any collection of the fluid around the lung. Uh, your legs for any swelling. After that, you came to explain the condition as you did in the beginning of the station. Lucy, from your history and result of the test, you are most likely you most likely have a condition. Most likely. Okay, most likely, even during your uh, diagnosis, when you catch the diagnosis, reach the diagnosis, most likely, we are most likely, most likely have a condition called ovarian hyperstimulation. You don't uh, have to tell her moderate or severe or mild because the patient will not know what is this. You have a condition called ovarian hyperstimulation. Have you ever heard about that? She will say no. Okay, you can explain. This overstimulation or over response of your ovary, the ovary it is the organ which produces the egg. A overstimulation of the ovary by fertility drugs, so the ovary produces a large uh, some chemicals which pass in the bloodstream, lead to skip of the fluid from your blood vessels, and this fluid accumulate in your tummy, may go up to to your lung, may go up to your heart, and this may affect the function of your kidney and your liver, and also increase the ability of the blood to coagulate or to clot. This is from the patient formation leaflet. You can draw draw the ovary. Here's the ovary. It will be overstimulated. Escape of uh, reduced some chemicals will go to the bloodstream. Escape of the fluid from the blood vessels accumulate in your tummy like that. Go to your lung like that. You can draw draw in every station. Okay, it will raise your mark. Am I clear so far? Yes. Regarding your treatment, as you have severe vomiting and you can't relate oral fluid so advise you to be admitted in the hospital okay so you uh, now justify to the examiner why you admit this patient why not outpatient management because she has severe vomiting okay 
because as the from the guideline the patient uh, uh, all the mild cases moderate cases and even some cases of the severe can be managed as outpatient but there are criteria for the admission if the patient this one of the criteria if the patient has severe vomiting can tolerate oral flow okay so i want to admit you in the hospital and tell her what you will do during the admission you will be offered monitoring of the fluid that you drink and uh, or the fluid that you take and the urine that you pass the input and the output you will be offered daily monitoring of your weight and your waist to see how your condition improve daily testing of your kidney function liver function or how your kidney work how your liver work how is your uh, hematocrit and the coagulation profile you will give in a fluid through a drip in your arm intravenous fluid till you can tolerate oral fluid then you will drink in response to your thirst will give you an sickness medication you will give you analgesic for the pain like paracetamol codeine not non-steroid because it will affect as dr ahmed said will affect the, your your kidney lessening agent during your admission and the 14 days after the charge and special stocking it to wear and this all of this to prevent the, the clotting formation okay when your condition becomes stable you will go home and give her warning sign take care of the warning sign in every station every station has warning sign you have to to mention you have to mention two to three of the warning sign because it will be patient safety for example in the patient with diabetes tell her about the hypoglycemic warning sign when she feel a headache sweating anxious hunger pain to have a, a, a fast acting glucose also this ha patient has warning sign if she feel any abdominal when she will go home if she feel abdominal pain increase in her weight shortness of breathing decrease in urine swelling her legs to ask medical advice immediately okay she may ask why my imperial not transferred as i asked dr ahmed okay mary i i, I understand your question i understand your concern but ovarian hyperstimulation itself it will be self-limited and most of the cases the symptom will resolve by seven days but if pregnancy occur it may be worse and prolong it so it is the good thing that the embryo will not transfer back i wanted to reassure you that the frozen embryo has the same pregnancy rate as frozen embryo and so don't be upset regarding this am i clear she will say yes do you have any other question okay thank you I will discuss this with my consultant. I will give you a contact number, patient information, leaflet to read, unlike this. Okay. Uh, some point from the uh, that grand term guideline, you can add multidisciplinary team in the severe cases and the critical cases which you need ICU admission. Here, the treatment will be under group of doctor, multidisciplinary team. She may tell you, as I asked Dr. Ahmed, I want to go uh, home today. It is necessary to be uh, to be admitted because my anniversary is today and I want to celebrate with my husband. Yes, Dr. Ahmed did it very well. Okay, first I will tell her that admission is important because she has to be vomiting and like that. But if she insisted to go home because in some station the patient insists to go home, okay, then I will tell her the plan. Yes, we will do some baseline investigation today like kidney function liver function and like that and we you will come every two to three days to repeat that and to check your weight and your waist to see how your condition improve you will drink fluid in response to your cyst and the motor your urine will give you analgesic anti-emetic blood thinning agent heparin and stocking you should avoid sexual intercourse and strenuous exercise because this patient will go to celebrate and she may dance and like that so Avoid sexual intercourse and the instantaneous exercise. And I will give her the warning sign also. If she has, if you have severe pain, if you have uh, increase in your weight, increase in your waist, increase in amount of the urine, shorts or breast, you should ask medical help, medical help immediately. I'm okay so far, you, yes, thank you, like that. Yes, I am Dr. ready Ali. for, yes, Dr. Ozan. I have yes. an objection, sir. Yes, you can say, please. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, from the scenario, from the beginning, it, it is directed to 
afterwards, it is a mild to moderate case. It's said that she has uh, vomiting the, the ultrasound. If it didn't comment about if there is a fluid in the pelvis or not, and the electrolyte and the blood tests are normal. So the examiner direct, direct me, or the scenario direct me towards it's a mild to moderate. Yes, there is vomiting, and but it didn't mean it is severe or it is a crippling. And of course, it doesn't affect the electrolyte balance, so it is a mild vomiting. I mean, I mean, he wants me to talk to the patient about a mild to moderate case. Why should I, I, I mention all this that as if it is a severe case and you have to be admitted, you have to be, you, you, you. I mean, I will explain the case for her and I will give her an the medication as an outpatient to control her vomiting. And if, of course, if she doesn't respond or the case be more worse at the, at the uh, ER, of course, I will uh, uh, provide her about uh, uh, to to be admitted. But the scenario to be towards an outpatient uh, treatment, outpatient consultation, and of course, at the end, I will give her the uh, precaution to be done at home and the warning sign. So now you are, you are your objection uh, for the admission. Am I right? Yes. Why you are talking? It, it, the, the scenario mentioned that the electrolyte are known. Where is the criteria of admission here? Not just by one. Maybe the volunteer will settle up with a certain with the anti sickness drug. Yes, and if the patient has a vomiting, severe vomiting, and she will not tolerate any food, food or fluid or like that. So also you would allow her to go home. No, she will be managed like a case of uh, hyperemesis hyper gravidarum. I'm sorry, sorry, I can't hear this last phrase. Yes, I said if the patient, okay, now the patient electrolyte is normal and her ovaries uh, is in CM. Is no, nothing. If the patient has severe vomiting for any food, any fluid like that, and she can't tolerate. So you will allow nothing, her to go, nothing, home, to go home? Nothing about it. Nothing what? No, sir, but it, it means that I will I will explain to her if the, that we will try to control her condition in the hour and uh, as an outpatient. If it is okay, if you settle down. But I in the guidelines, one the of the criteria for admission is uh, the patient is unable to take anything. It is written in guidelines. One of the criteria of admission is when the patient is unable to take anything. This yes. is not the only criteria, the doctor. There are other criteria. There's abnormal electrolyte uh, and uh, uh, other things, that, such as ketones, abnormal electrolytes, high hematocrit value, and that's it. But <laughs> not, not in her case. She no things. Mm -hmm. No, um, no. Sorry, and, me. Oh, Dr. Rensara, I am sorry, not agree sir. with you. There is indication for uh, admission. If it's still the patient yes. has been and the nausea not controlled, even if mild yes. or moderate, we have to admit the patient. Yes. This is how do you know that line. it is not controlled? How it is not the patient controlled? Is how do you know? This is uh, classified as moderate ovarian hyperstimulation, ovarian size 12. Uh, Moderate ovarian hyperstimulation is as an outpatient. Yani, no. we, we did mention yeah. that there is a fluid. That there is a fluid in in the ultrasound. No, you will. Not, we will not go only by the ultrasound picture. If the patient still has nausea and vomiting, or not controlled, we have to admit the patient. How do you know she is not controlled? How do you know? Where is the proof that she is not controlled? It's written in the scenario. That scenario, it, 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 that scenario was obvious. Dr. Antisar, can I may I um, uh, share with this uh, discussion? Uh, can you please? please I, uh, I saw one patient, uh, hyperemesis gravidarum, uh, dying in front of me because uh, because uh, this hyperemesis has many safety issues and the many safety points that uh, we we shouldn't do it, take it lightly. Uh, we should admit the patient. What will we? What will we do? This is not hyperemesis by the criteria of hyperemesis. 
Mrs. Bilas, another no, thing. Bilas, a very No heart amylases without electrolyte disturbance, weight loss, and uh, ketones in urine. Nothing is told about that. Dr. Intisar, uh, if the patient is unable to maintain adequate fluid intake due to nausea, this is a, a criteria, one of the criteria for admission in case of OHSS. Even if, even if uh, here uh, 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 the investigation are normal. Even if it's the criteria. Okay, to... doctor. <laughs> Leave it. Okay, I'm sorry. This is my opinion, Dr. Ali. I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt or to, uh, who be uh, this session. Dr. Ali? Dr. Ali, you are right. Uh, you asked the patient about uh, are you able to take uh, anything? And she replied, uh, I'm uh, not able to take anything. And have So you are right for the admission. Uh, if there is vomiting a smile and she is able to take anything, so you can uh, manage it uh, outpatient. So you offer her there are criteria, there are criteria uh, written clearly in the guideline. If we go today all for the guideline and they read the, this criteria for the admission, uh, the first one, if the patient unable to tolerate food or fluid, if the patient unable to control her pain, if the patient don't uh, uh, um, have the facility to, to come for follow up, or if there is the deterioration, it was go, uh, go out uh, outpatient management and uh, 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 after that, uh, it has deterioration, so we have to admit the patient. This is the criteria, and the critical yes. case. The critical case it will be from the start also admit. This is the five criteria for the admission. So now yes, we have one of these criteria: the, the patient is not able to tolerate food. So if if we said admission, uh, even even if it was wrong, even the admission was wrong and not suitable here. You will not, it will not listen your mark to offer admission for the patient. But if the admission was important and was necessary for this patient, and you didn't mention that, you will lose the mark for safety. So it will not listen your mark if you mention admission and it was not suitable. But if the admission was necessary for the patient and you didn't mention admission, from the start, you lose safety and you lose safety point for this patient. So uh, uh, we can read a guideline, the guideline again, and to know what are the criteria for admission. We not we not manage or we not um, treat the patient according to the investigation or according to the result uh, of the ultrasound and the blood test. We we manage according to the clinical picture of the patient. This patient to have severe vomiting, and I, I will give her anti-sickness medication, and I will tell her that you will go home. It will, I think it will not be suitable. Where did the anti, where did the severe vomiting is mentioned in the scenario, sir? Yes, I'm sorry, sir. I, 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 this is my opinion, sir. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm wrong. No problem. I'm really no, problem at, no problem at but all. You can. Please. So, so why he mentioned in the scenario that all her uh, her blood investigation are normal? Why? What is mentioned by that? Why he mentioned that the the ovary is ten some feet and even he didn't mention there is a fluid. And then we in the whole case, serious for pleural effusion, serious for abdominal girth, get blood thing. Where is the criteria to look all this? There may be the torsion of the ovary, so you should have to admit the patient. She is having the pain and vomiting. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Okay, Thank welcome. you, doctor. I'm sorry. No, no problem at all. You are welcome. No problem. Hello, Dr. Okay. Ali. Yes, Dr. Hassan. I want to ask you something. Uh, what's your opinion? Should I uh, stress during the history taking about any predisposing factor of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, like previous ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, BCO, weight like that, to pay uh, uh, the attention of this uh, lady, that uh, the possibility of the occurrence of this condition, or uh, once again, if she gets pregnant or not? This is the first question. Second to question, do you agree 
with me when the patient asked uh, about uh, uh, the available uh, the feasibility of embryo tran uh, embryo transfer is it's better to say that the fertility doctor who is the best one who answers this uh, but in case of embryo transfer the condition may be uh, progress or uh, last for a longer period and you, you may experience during pregnancy some complications like preterm and uh, uh, preclamps for example third uh, case i think it's a must here to mention that this complication should be uh, the fertility center should be in fertility or, or the hefa should be informed of this complication is that right yeah, yes, yes. I will take it one by one from the from the last to the the first question. Yes, the fertility center and the human embryo fertilization authority center have to be informed about that. But I think the patient will not um, will not understand what is the, the Haifa center and like that. You can mention that in the structure structure discussion. If this is a structure discussion task. So you you will tell the examiner I, I will write to the fertility center and the fertility center have to write or to report this to the human and embryo fertilization authority. Uh, so the second question regarding to the uh, embryo transfer pack. Uh, uh, if yeah I I wanted to tell you that if you have any information or any uh. Uh, idea about the answer no problem no problem to answer like dr ahmed said yes if we return back the the eggs it will the pregnancy may happen and the condition may be worsen and it may be prolonged but open have a stimulation by itself is self-limited and the, all the symptoms will be resolved by seven days so you have an answer if you don't have an answer you can tell the fertility specialist will talk with you about that uh, I, I, I read in one book if you um, if you referred everything to your consultant to you, another specialist and this and that it will not be a, a competent can you will be not competent candidate uh, but uh, if you don't have an answer you can you can refer to the fertility specialist you can refer to the consultant the first one uh, regarding to the risk factor yes it's very important to, to ask about the risk factor whether she has PCO before, when I have a stimulation to show the examiner that you have the risk factor and the, in your mind, and you ask about this risk factor uh, in, in the task. Thank you, Dr. Hussain. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, all my colleagues. Uh, today, only we take three sessions. I'm so sorry for this uh, delay because we already start one hour later. Inshallah, uh, we will uh, complete in the next week. Bismillah. Inshallah, uh, I will be happy to 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 answer all your question in the group. No problem. If you have any query, if you have any difficult session you wanted to discuss, okay. So, in see you next week. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ali. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Ali. Thank you, Dr. Ali. Thank you, Dr. Ali. Thank you, uh, Dr. Ali. Excuse me. Uh, yes, Dr. Ali. Excuse me, please. Uh, uh, please discuss the scenario which came the uh, last uh, number. Uh, so fertility with fibroid. I, I, again, uh, in, uh, in last number, a scenario came. Uh, a woman about 42 years old want to become pregnant and she's having the fibroid uterus 42 years old and she she has what uh, fibroid uterus on MRI. Fibroid uterus. yes yes okay we can we can do this inshallah inshallah no problem okay thank you. okay it was it was one of the uh, of this station okay, the yeah. task is in the last exam and it was uh, uh, start a discussion. Okay, inshallah we will uh, solve it. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you.